wings of the spirit oh i need them to fly i need them to fly above the mountains the billows of life billows of life i have no rather the wings the wings of the spirit to fly fly away oh wings of the spirit i need them to fly above the mountain and the billows of life the billows I have no rather request to me. Lord, grant me the wings, the wings, the wings of the spirit to fly, fly away. Hello, you're welcome to my podcast of today. Today, I just want to talk on something I have called building generosity into your life. This is Evangelist Dr. Ambassador Oloma Oje once again. You see, the truth about the matter is that as a leader, anywhere you find yourself, is it in the bank, is it a ministry, is it an um, entertainment, wherever you find yourself, Nothing speaks to others more loudly than when you offer services to them. Effective leaders gather others to give out services, not to get services. That is why Jesus had to say to us, if you want to be great in the kingdom of God, you have to be the servant of all. The place of stewardship cannot be overemphasized in any way. It is stewardship that distinguishes you. It is stewardship that makes the difference that other people want. When they see humility in you, when they see service in you, the one who associates with you in everything that you do. You see, the truth about the matter is that today, I want to consider some ways where you can cultivate generosity into your life. The first one is, I want you to be grateful for whatever you have. A lot of people do not understand that saying that says the seaweeds are always greener in somebody else's lake. You see people, you wish to be them, you want to be them. You want to be them and wish to be them. Can you go through what they went through to get to where they are? Some of those people that you're looking at, if you hear the challenges that they are facing, you will rush back to your position and say, Father, I am even sorry for wishing to be them. Amen. So I want you to begin to develop an attitude of gratitude. Wherever you find yourself, always be grateful to God that, Lord, listen, today I know it's a case of one step at a time. You've brought me here safely today. I appreciate you. Because there are people that are not in that page that you're complaining that you are in. That is why philosophers say that there is this man that was crying that he had no shoes until he saw someone without legs. Amen. The second thing I want you to build into your life is to put people first that was the attitude of jesus jesus put everybody first before himself do you know that there was a point in time that jesus decided to wash the feet of his disciples in fact when peter was like wow you're jesus for christ's sake you can't wash my feet jesus said if i don't wash your feet you don't have a path in me that is leadership by example At times when you're leading people, you find out that they are not going in the trend you want them to go. You teach them. You take up that task. Fulfill that task. They will see you doing it. The next thing that will happen is that they begin to do it the way you are doing it. The same thing happens even in families. You want to teach your children? Show it by example. That child that is seeing you smoke or drink and dance on the road, tomorrow might begin to smoke and drink and dance on the road you don't have to complain amen 
Praise the Lord. The third one is, don't ever allow greed to control you. When you are controlled by greed, you can never be a generous person. Forget it. Everybody is complaining about the things happening in the world today. This is happening, that is happening, the other one is happening. What are you doing to make the world a better place? If there's nothing you're doing, then you don't have the capacity or right to complain. Amen. People are naturally greedy. They are natural, naturally selfish. But our goal and aim is to be like Jesus. He was selfless. He believed in himself. He wanted things to work out for him. I tell you, you too can be like Jesus. Amen. If you want to be like Jesus, all you need to do is not to allow greed to control you. Amen. The next thing you have to do is also to regard money as a resource. Amen. Some people as ministers, they will tell you, probably you don't need money, blah, 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 blah. How can you run what you're doing? For you to effectively run what you're doing, you have to have a source of income. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want you to understand that you cannot be lazy in ministry. It is lazy people in ministry that want to rip off the people that they are supposed to be shepherding. People that are in position as ministers, they are supposed to be shepherds. Shepherds that eat their sheep, they are not loving Jesus aright. Jesus asked Peter, Peter, do you love me? He said, yes, I love you. He said, if you love me, then you have to feed my sheep. Amen. The fifth one is to develop the habit of giving. Amen. Giving is a habit that you have to make up your mind to develop. Because that is the only seed of receiving. God wanted to reconcile the whole world to himself. He decided to give. Amen. Praise the Lord. What he did was that he gave his only son. All of us today we we'll talk about it. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave. The place of giving cannot be overemphasized. Do not join the crowd that will say, Hey, I'm giving to the pastor. I'm giving to the church. I'm giving to... What, when you give out that money, what the church or the minister does with the money is no longer your business. What your business is, is that you gave and you have already convenanted that giving to God. God will not come down from heaven to pick up your seed. No. How your seed works is that you give it out to the church, then the church uses it to reach out and send the gospel out there. To send the gospel out requires money. Some of them are airing their gospel. Some of them are singing, producing tapes. Some of them are writing books, producing them, newsletters, things like that. I want you to understand that developing your relationship with God has to do with building generosity into your life. Sometimes we hold on to our possessions because we fear we might run out. Ooh, we are scared. The Bible says, there is he that gathereth, thanks to penury. There is he that scattereth, but thanks to have more. That is divine wisdom. When we believe that giving is the way to live, we will produce more in our future. Our future will become abundant because we are sowing into our future. Listen. This is Jesus' kind of life. To be like Jesus should be our ultimate vision and goal. You are blessed and you are highly favored. Amen.